Hi folks, this is Peach Mario with one of the last videos in this series how to deal with uh, TeleWiki plugins and the Node.js configuration in the last video I showed you how you can use the command line to add uh, to enable plugins which are not part of the TeleWiki info file and I still am using it here, yeah, I still started it uh, includes the file system and TeleWeb plugin for the uh, empty test tiddler and it listens yeah. And now we'll have a closer look at how we can drag and drop or let's say manually install plugins with TillyWiki. The mechanism is the same as installing a plugin from the plugin library. Yeah? So we are which have been one of the first of the first uh, videos I made. Manually installing plugins, same thing. Yeah? So let's no, link. Uh, let's open the empty edition and use this uh, toolbar or bookmark uh, again, which contains all the uh, library configuration links to external libraries which I want to use. So this is one of the first videos uh, with where you can have a look how I did this. And then let's import some plugins. Let's say I want from my own plugin library um, Wikilabs latest. I want to import the link to tabs macro link to tabs install which is a wiki text only macro, macro and you can see it directly works without any restart. Yeah. Then let's include the um, relink library um, this I think this should be part of every TillyWiki where you uh, want to rename uh, your tiddlers. Okay, so there is some. There are two additional plugins. One is for one is for Relink uh, Markdown if you use Markdown files, and the other one is um, Relink Titles, which works uh, very nicely together with Streams. Okay, so let's import relink relink titles and let's import streams streams okay reload uh, so now all the plugins should be installed we have the core we have link to tabs, we have relink, relink titles, and we have streams. Uh, so some settings and so on. Okay, now let's have a closer look what happened to our tillers folder. And now all those plugins are part <coughs> sorry, are part of our content now. Uh, and in one of the last videos I said, okay, um, yeah, if we need third-party plugins and those plugins should be uh, fixed uh, so that we don't want to update them dynamically uh, if they are part of the plugins here, then we can do it in that way. Uh, for single file wikis we have to do it anyway uh, and also for client server configurations there are, situa there are situations where it may make sense to import them like this and in that case uh, it would be good to just say plugins here and move them, including their meta files, into the plugin subfolder, but the subfolder in Tiddlers. Yeah. Then there are some configuration files, uh, not new file, escape, new folder, say config and those configuration files are now moved here oops there is one two config move okay and now we have a clean uh, tillers directory which only contains uh, our mm, our content tiddlers yeah okay the start uh, start order, uh, the plugin load order, uh, if you remember it, starts with the operating system environment variables, 
with the plugin path, with the command line, and then with the content plugins. And the lower in the list the plugins are, then they have a higher priority. In this case, user content always wins. Yeah, and that's basically it, how you can work with uh, Telewikis and plugin. Uh, I think it already is a big step towards how you can create single file wikis, how you can use the client server configuration and there are maybe some future videos. And if you liked it and if the, my videos make a difference to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. This would make a difference for me too. And see you. Have fun.